Hello, this is Alina. This is my channel, Ditsy Blonde. And I open jewelry jars or jewelry bags. I haven't seen a jewelry bag in a while. Um, I've gotten some really interesting things in them gold, diamonds, rubies, Tiffany. I had a Tiffany Elsa Peretti. Uh, starfish necklace um, just all kinds of stuff this looks like this is the reason why I bought this that's right here the rest just looks kind of like fake turquoise mm, dyed coral there's the owl earring a lot of shell type stuff can't get away from the shells Some crystals. I did see tiger's eye. And maybe some rose quartz. I don't know. I paid $50 for this jar. I picked it up today after I dropped off some donations. And how's everybody doing? I'm trying to open this. Been real busy. Did that yard sale. I got rid of a whole bunch of jewelry. It was great. <laughs> Oops, I was so happy. Probably got a hundred pounds of it. So now I have room to put more in. Right? It's so cute. It's dirty, but it's cute. Lots of shell looking stuff. I don't know. I'm not very hopeful. I really didn't have any good jars. But I'm going to go out this weekend. Ah! Oh, this is for me. Do you see what this is? Coffee beans. It's a coffee bean neck bracelet. Almost said necklace. That's me. Keeping that one. <laughs> but I'm going to go out this weekend. I'm going to try to find some yard sales or flea markets. Or there was a flea market down the street from me. Mile high flea market. See if there's anything that's not made in China. Just kind of pulling earrings out here and there too. This is one of those paper, wow, this thing's long. Is this two? Oh, that's why it looks so long. It's two. It's still one as long. It's got hair. Bonus hair. Let's see if I can adjust my light. This jar is blocking. Put it right here. And it's up. I have a new background. Thought I'd try gray for a while. And this one has some green glass beads. Don't think they're jade. I mean, why would they put real jade with paper beads, right? Oh, look. Two of these. <laughs> you know, it's the little things in life that make me happy. <laughs> Coffee bean bracelets. There's another little bracelet with rainbows. Since this is Pride Month, how about that? Uh oh. I hear my dog coming. This is just an inexpensive blue beaded. It's, I mean, it's like Mardi Gras beads. You know how it's put together. And another rainbow bracelet. Two of them. 
I have a feeling my dog's going to try to get me to take him out for a walk. Okay, this is confusing. Okay, it's an earring. This is an Aries necklace. March 21st, April 19th. It's in a... Um, kind of like a what do you call that stained glass look doesn't have a name on it it does have something here and I can't figure it out that's kind of cool never a Virgo one though one of these it's missing a jump ring these red beads are pretty And we were talking about necklaces in the 50s. Everybody's like, they're so short, they're so tiny. And I think the reason is, I don't remember anybody being overweight back then. I don't even know if people ate. Oh, hold on a minute. Sorry about that. That's how it's been lately. I'm busy. That's why my dog needs attention. So anyways, I remember everybody being skinnier. Of course, I remember a lot of mothers to my friends being heavy drinkers too. So there's that. I don't know if anybody else remembers that. A lot of these red ones. Red. I think this is just tangled. And I'm thinking I don't want to untangle it. But it is. It's tangled. It's got pearls. Real pearls. Actually, I kind of like it. Oh, here. How about that? It goes like this. It's got a pearl button. See that? And I guess it would be adjustable. Put it back on there. I do like it. It's fancy. It's got little seed beads and pearls and red dyed coral. Looks like it's just knotted. I like that. That's a nice piece. That may go in my store if I get time. Just been so busy. My daughter Jess. And her family just moved to Massachusetts, actually. They just arrived to Massachusetts. They still have to drive across Massachusetts to get to the, I can't remember the name of the city. This looks like it's silver. Yeah. I don't know if I want to zoom in and screw up. Can you see that little 925 right there? Nine two five. This is ceramic Cheryl Stevens Studio. It's actually kind of cute. It's got that very sixties vibe. That's nice. Very nice. One of these inexpensive bracelets says "Best Friends for Eternity." That's why they donated it. <laughs> right. 
big clunky shell necklace. I actually like this big clunky shell necklace. What do you think? It does have a clasp. I do like it. It's very iridescent. I don't think it's silver or anything. I need to fix the clasp. But I get a feeling we're going to see a lot of shells. Or shell lookalikes. Here's another one. Painted. Really worn. don't like it as much. So, um, I don't know what that is. I'm grabbing this earring. Sorry. gold. Kind of a brownish bronzy pearls. I don't think they're even real pearls. Nope. Glass pearls. I'm pretty though. Brown's one of my favorite colors. Along with pink. Usually if you could see through these, they're not silver. But I always double check because, you know, you never know. There's a 16 inch joker length. Pretty sure 16. It's pretty short. In pink, knotted. It's actually in good condition. A um. It's got little bits of pulverized something. I'm guessing this is I'm not sure what this is. It's either acrylic or really hard. Not hard. This is throwing me. Might be bone. But it's an ohm. It's got two little beads on a cord. Earring, earring, earring. I got another one of these. I like this stone. USA patent. This has a patent number. These are genuine stone. Not sure what they are. Probably some sort of jasper of some sort. Easy to tell the difference between jasper and agate. Agate is always more see through in spots, jasper is solid. And this has got probably Turkish coin, because that looks like the symbol on their flag, the, the star in the moon. That's nice. More earrings. There's this big crazy thing. I don't really like this. And besides being filthy dirty, because it is, these are glass. Pretty sure these are plastic. Plastic. This might be glass, but I don't know if you can see how filthy that is. It's just gross. Let me have a sip of my drink. What are you all drinking? You don't have to drink alcohol. You can just drink anything you want. If you like soda or something, coffee. This 
is interesting. This is the back. It's kind of like a chain mail with Rolo chains. And then a bunch of beads. A mixture of glass and acrylic. With glass. And a chain. With absolutely no maker's mark. That's cool. Let's see if I can get them on here. I'm going to shorten it. That's a nice long dangly. That's fun. Mediterranean colors. All the blues and golds. This necklace, very worn old, it says something right here. Oh my gosh. I'll never be able to read it. It's only on one side. I'm not going to be able to read it. I think maybe Napier. But it's pretty worn. These pieces are kind of cool. Maybe made into earrings or something. Once cleaned up. I like how it's shiny and not shiny. Kind of a two-tone. Two-tone effect. Wow. Wow. Tingly. It's got little dangly chains. It's got little stone beads. Can you see those? It's got some pieces missing. That's a good scrap piece to make into something else. Which I'll probably do. A chain. An old chain. Love it. Hmm. There's a magnet clasp. That's why it's tangled. They use fishing stuff on it. Interesting. There's the other magnet right here. I wonder if this was made on a camping fishing trip. <laughs> Not sure how this goes. Magnet strong though. kind of tangled but it's fishing stuff British French it's all fishing stuff and magnets that's interesting I've never seen anything like that hopefully never again Now we're on to the faux turquoise. How light. Bracelet. Oh, that's cool. That looks like those cone shells. And they've been sliced down. That's cool. With a brass colored. I like this. This is my kind of shell necklace. It's not real expensive, but still cool. There's a pearl. I always thought these were made out of old LPs, from my understanding. I'm not sure. That's real pearl. 
I might take that apart too. Don't like the black part. And this is missing a piece. Navy blue, cream, and black by New York. Crusader Cross Nicholas of Faux Turquoise. How light. Those are fun to take apart and make earrings out of. Well, this is crazy. Is this basketball? Is a basketball and a hoop? Or is that a trash can? Of course, it's not signed or anything. Double checking. That's well, pretty crazy looking. And another faux turquoise. Necklace. Children's beads. Another one that looks kind of like children's buttons and plastic beads. A what are these full market site? Is it? Actually, I like this better than the wood one. With all the uh, I don't know what they are saints or angels. A hummingbird pin made out of clay, I'm thinking. Well, maybe it's not a hummingbird. It's some kind of bird. It's cute, though. These don't look like real anything. And the beads look the same, so I'm guessing these are just acrylic. And another shell necklace. With some glass beads. And natural colors. These look good when you have a tan. And the necklace that I was looking at, this is definitely silver, right here, where is it? Can I zoom in without screwing that up? 925? 925. Ew, my fingernail's dirty. Oh, that's tape. <laughs> that's the tape. Ew, look how dirty this is. Liquid silver. Remember, liquid silver goes, the tubes are straight. They do not round on the end. Come on, please. This is probably some kind of quartz. Some pipes. What is that called? Pipe stone? Coral. Not sure. Pipe stone. Not sure what this is. Looks like some kind of jasper. That's nice. It's long. I bet it's like 20 inches. When you look at it, that's cool. Oh, I am sweating. 
It is so hot in here. Air conditioning doesn't reach my room. And the last of the jar. Well, you know, I talked about um, doing a, a video on sales, and I think it got um, kind of confusing, and that's my fault. I'm sorry. It was kind of what I was thinking was kind of a um, law of attraction type of thing. You know, when you actively work on something, stuff comes to you. It wasn't, I haven't thought it all through yet. But I just thought that would be interesting. Probably just for me, so. Is there two of those? There is, these are interesting earrings. Kinda hippie. You can see those after. More earrings kind of pulling them out. Here's the rose quartz. Stretchy. Trying to find There's another sh oh. barrel clasp. Oh, hematite glass bead. Shells. I actually don't mind these type of shells. I like these better than the ones that look like they're tumbled shells, dyed. Um, some interesting stuff here on the bottom. Not really worth anything, and I don't see any more silver. So I think that was my only silver piece. This is interesting. Kind of a mixture of beads. Mostly glass, I can feel it. Oh, blue stone. Butterfly. Excuse me. Very symmetrical. I matched them both sides. Let me take this apart though. I think these are like cool earrings. <laughs> I just need some free time. But it's looking like I'm going to have a little bit more free time coming up. Get some stuff done. Whoops. Sorry. I'm just sweating like crazy. Just pouring down my face. Um, I'm guessing this is a breast cancer because it's pink. Faux pearls. Another, you know how I feel about barrel clasp on bracelets. So this is kind of a really weird green color. Here's the tiger's eye bracelet. These are good sized. Nice and cool. Um... What is this? Earrings. My earrings. These look like garnets, but I don't see another one like this. Like little garnet grapes. Oh, yeah, there is. That's cool. I love garnets. Little garnet grape dangles. Look at that it's a little cluster. Gold. That's pretty, I like it. Infinity necklace. Inexpensive. Inexpensive. So whoever made that one necklace might have made this one too. Sorry, it's tangled. Oh, 
I like this. It's probably used um, vintage um, findings. Very symmetrical. Glass and plastic beads, brass. Looks like a little rose quartz. Little, uh, I forget, I forget what that's called. It's kind of interesting. I like it. This looks like Via Sophia, but it could be wrong. Could be 60s, could be vintage, could be Japanese, could be Chinese, could be West German, could be broken. Just acrylic beads. I might actually use this for something. I like making little wind chimey things, dangling things. Earrings, earrings, stretchy bracelet, tea beads, kind of not even stretchy. Falling apart. There's another faux hematite. Pearls. This is a stretchy. I like these little seed beads, little crystals. Stretchy. This is a dyed stone. You can tell when you look right here where the color goes in. And because if you see the clear in it, this is an agate in the agate family. Oh, I like these little blue crystals. That's kind of cool. Copper colored clasp. Copper colored little pieces. That's cute. Then I got something from Harry Potter. This is that says I don't know where it begins I mark the hours every one nor have I yet outrun the sun my use and value unto you are gauged by what you have to do supposed to spin it. Of course it's not going to work for me. Hermione would spin it. Yes. I am that nerd. I'm a Harry Potter fan. Oh, that's it. Just on the earrings. And only one piece of sterling. But that's that's okay. This is interesting. Very hippie boho-ish. They're not heavy. Metal and they have something wrapped around them. I like them. Worn out blue hoops. They're all kind of cracky. Dicrua glass earrings. These earwares look silver. I will test them. This weird little earring. A rose in the emo eye. These earrings. Just kind of wire. Kind of remind me of that. 
Then there's this one. This is like light balsa wood, real light. Is there two of these? No. How about a Winnie the Pooh earrings? And I don't see Disney on them or anything. Nope. Definitely Winnie the Pooh. Owls. See how dirty that one is? It's cute though. It's going to get a bath. I have these little, probably Colombian, Peru. Can't seem to grab them. They're reversible. Their hands go on each side. Little rainbow colors. That's pretty cool. Let's see, what else do I have a pair of? I have a pair of kitty cat earrings. Kind of a crackly glaze. Probably ceramic because it's white. These little pearls, potato pearls with little brown crystals. Pear. Just funny, there's one of these, and I ha I know I have the other one <laughs> somewhere. It might be right here. I know I saved it. Nope, it's not right here. I saved it because I had this idea, but now I have two of them. And last but not least, these earrings. I like these. Red glass. I'm not sure what that is. These are Czech um, Picasso glass beads. Oh, they're gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, wow. These are cool. These are nice. I like Czech Picasso beads. So that was it. Um, I have more stuff. I'm re-donating than keeping. And a little craft pile. Um, I don't think I really have too much in here to sell. I don't know. Maybe this. This crazy thing. But, and I have this. Only silver piece. Well, these earrings hoops, I think, are silver, too. They're just tarnished. And then this one area is not as tarnished. See that right there? It just leads me to think they're silver hoops. So, that's it. These are definitely the weirdest to me. But this is silver too. I got two pieces. Not too bad. Not gonna worry about it. Not gonna oh, where did you come from? And these earrings. <laughs> I don't even know where these came from. They must have been stuck in something. So. Cute kitties. That's it, though. That's it. So. Nothing too fantastic, but that's okay. I'm, I'm pleased with this. This. These are cool. I like these. I don't know where the other one went. I already lost it. Two sets of earrings here I think are really nice. Well, and the kitty cats. I can't wear post earrings, so. There we 
they seem to upset my ears. I said both the earrings I like are red. <laughs> Except for that. But that is it. We're done. Um, I want to thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for having a drink with me. Even if you didn't have one, that's all right. So just kind of a sit back, relax, look at jewelry, have a good time. And that's it. So see you next time. Stay cool this summer. And thank you for watching my video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.